Voters from across Winnipeg, mic'd up and unfiltered. Out of her depth and ideological. He feels untested and I don't know exactly what to expect uh, if I were to vote in that direction. I wrote down who and I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> Eight voters from Winnipeg Swing Riding's inner room. They're part of a focus group organized by Probe Research in partnership with CBC. The goal, understand voters in the ridings the PCs are trying to keep and the NDP trying to take. What I want you to do is write down three or four adjectives. How would you describe Heather Stephenson? Every person had negative things to say. I wrote entitled, elitist, and distrustful. The focus group had more positive views of the NDP's Wap Canoe. I think he does come with a unique perspective because of his problems in the past and hopefully that means that he will deal with issues in a new way that maybe will have a better impact on our community. While some in the focus group did not have much to say about Liberal leader Duga Lamont. Never heard him speak, never seen him. A political scientist says party leaders have a lot of sway. On the tails of the leader, those, those seats move. The NDP will need a lot of Tory held seats to flip. They won 18 seats in the last election. They'll need 11 more for a majority. Christopher Adams says the NDP will need South Winnipeg. The PCs have Southdale, Riel, Seine River, and Fort Richmond, where the NDP is trying to win over voters by promising a new ER at Victoria Hospital. In North Winnipeg, seats like McPhillips, Rossmuir, and Radisson will be hotly contested, as well as the Liberal leader seat in St. Boniface and a recent tight by-election the PCs won in Kirkfield Park and Fort White. Outside Winnipeg, the NDP is aiming for Selkirk, Brandon East and Dauphin, seats they lost when the PCs were elected in 2016. What's working in the NDP's favor is their support in Winnipeg. Many in the focus group were leaning toward the party, which tracks comparably to recent polling in Winnipeg. We see turnovers and a lot of those seats that are contentious move over. So it's not like a seat here or a seat there. Adam says the PCs also have positive momentum. After years of austerity, the Tories have spent big money in the last year, tempering voter anger. Ian Fraze, CBC News, Winnipeg.